Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn another definition of acid and bases. So this is the definitions that matter the most. Uh, this is slightly bit complicated, but not that complicated. So uh, it's, it's called Bronsted-Lowry's acid and bases. So what is a Bronsted-Lowry acids? So an acid, or we can call it Bronsted-Lowry's acid, is something that provides H plus ions. So it's the same definitions as Arrhenius acids, but the difference arises when there is a base. So base is something that accepts H plus ions. So there's something that accepts H plus ions. So uh, let's look at what do we mean by uh, provides H plus ions and accept H plus ions. So let's say if you look at the water, so if two water molecule, if they react with each other, which is, the reaction is extremely small, but if they do, when, when they do, what happened is, maybe I should color code this. Let's color code this water as pink. So what happened is one of the water molecule, let's say this orange one, it will provide H plus ion to the other one. So what would you get is So what would you get is, so you get OH minus because the orange one has already give away its proton and the other one is gonna be H, OH, H. So now because this water molecule has received an extra proton so it becomes H, it become a positive ions. So maybe I should, okay, the reason I color coded this as this bond here pink because those two electron comes from this pink oxygens, right? So in this particular scenario, so let's look at the definitions. So acid is a substance that provide H plus ion. So in this case, who provides H plus ions? So the orange one, so this one act as an acid. So this one is acid. And this one is, is the one that accepts H plus ions. So this one act as a base. So as per this definitions, the water on the left act as an acid and the water on the right act as a base, right? Okay, now try to compare uh, the exact same color on the other side of the equation. So let me highlight this, this one. So the water has lost its proton. So after it loses its proton, it becomes OH minus. So, so this one loses proton. So after it loses its proton, this one becomes base. I'll explain in a second. So why this one is a base. So if you look at uh, the reactions from backward, so let's say the reaction from backward. So in this particular reaction, so what happening here? This molecule is gonna give H plus ion to OH minus. So if I go backward, so you can see here the orange hydrogen is gonna come back to this orange oxygen and on the back side, you're gonna make the water. So because this OH minus was able to accept a proton, this is gonna call as a base and the pink one here is gonna call as an acid. So can you see a partner so the orange partner with orange and the pink partner with pink. So if you look at here, on the left side it was acid, but on the right side it is a base, it's partner. 
uh, if you look at the orange one on the left side it was a base it was acting as a base but on the right side it becomes an acid so these partners are called conjugate so for acid its partner will call as a conjugate base and if it is base its partner will call as a conjugate acid okay we will do another example then it will be a lot more clear so let's do another example then i will show you shortcuts how to do this so ammonia is a gas which is nh3 so when you uh, when you put ammonia in water what you're going to get is you're going to get i should color code again to make things clear. Okay, so what would you get is you would get an H, 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 and H plus OH minus. Okay, so if you look at this particular example, can you identify who is acid, who is base on the left side, and also identify who is acid and who is base on the right side? Okay, you can pause the video here and unpause after this. Okay, so uh, who is providing proton between NH3 and HOH? Just look at the other side. The water has lost a proton, so proton is H plus ion. So if it has lost a proton, it becomes OH minus ion. So you can see here, the water is the one that provided the proton. So this is the one that provided the proton. Provided the H plus ion. So obviously that one would be acid. So what is this counterpart, partner on the other side? So that one would be your conjugate base. So if it is acid on the left side, on the other side, its partner would be conjugate base. Now on the left side, who is the one that accepts the proton? So accepts the proton, uh, nitrogen, the ammonia is the one that accepts the proton. So this is our, I'm gonna act as a base. So what happened when it accepts the proton? It becomes NH3 plus. So if it is base on the left side, what shall we call to its partner on the other side? We're gonna call this partners as conjugate. If it is base on the left, on the right it would be acid. So it's kind of a uh, pretty easy, uh, to uh, remember. So if I ask in exams or if it's in the homework, what is the conjugate acid of water? So, so this is water. So what is the conjugate acid of water? Okay, so here is a shortcut. So if you see acid, Acid A is R A proton. So you take water and you add a proton. So what happened? You take water and add a proton. So you have two hydrogen, three hydrogen. So it becomes H3. And also you have an extra positive charge. So it becomes H3O plus. Right, so it's, that's how uh, pretty easy to uh, solve. Okay, so if I ask what is the conjugate base of water? What is the conjugate base? So again, it's kind of pretty simple trick I always use. Uh, B, B is byte a proton out so you bite a proton out so you remove a proton so if you have water if you take a proton out 
We know that water is neutral, so if you take proton out, it becomes negative, and one hydrogen is gone, so it becomes OH minus. So that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Okay, let's do another example. What is the conjugate acid of ammonia? So what is the conjugate acid of ammonia? So we will be using this a lot in the later, in the semester, so make sure you understand everything. Okay, so conjugate acid, which means you're gonna add a proton, so A is add a proton. So it's NH3 plus H plus. So you have added one hydrogen, so it becomes NH4. Then you have added an extra positive charge, so it becomes NH4 plus. And that's the answers, right? Sometimes NH3 can also act as a base too. So that's that's the beauty of this uh, Bronsted and Lowry definitions that any compounds can act as a conjugate, can as an acid, can act as a base. So if I ask what is the conjugate base of ammonia, what should be the answers? So base, bite, a proton out. So you take NH3 and you subtract H plus ion. So what happened? One hydrogen is gone, so it becomes NH2. So one hydrogen is gone, it becomes NH2. And a positive charge is gone, so this becomes NH2 minus. And that's, that's it. All right, so we'll stop here.